Well, let me go a little higher up and have a macro look at all of the market. Um, when you look at the card market right now, it, it's been pretty slow and stable. And I think that it's, there's a few reasons about that. And it, it's been told on many different platforms, many different podcasts by experts that have been longer than myself, longer than uh, you even in the, um, in the market. And I think it's a pretty, from what I'm experiencing now, I can't say I've been in, in, the, in the market, in the hobby for uh, many, many years. Uh, so I, I cannot talk about my past experience, but what the information I'm gathering right now is that it's normal to see different markets slowing down. I know hockey's heating up and it's pretty normal because we're in the Stanley Cup playoffs. There's some speculation, but hockey is not the biggest market. It's not driving the card market forward. Uh, F1 is a pretty hot product, therefore. Um, and I mean, uh, okay, sorry. Let me rewind a couple of seconds there. If you look at, there, there's many different reasons. I know National is coming in, in a few weeks. Um, there's also the global economic, um, I'll say, I don't want to say format, but global economic, uh, standpoint where, uh, everything is slowing down crypto stocks. I mean, I looked at my stocks recently, everything went down and, you know, there's, uh, uh, not a lot of good news on economic, um, um, future on the economic future on the, the short term. So, uh, therefore we see also if we now come down to the card market in F1, there's some, I'll say confusion and correction about everything. When, uh, tops Chrome 2021 came out, we saw a spike in value of both 2021 who, uh, the hobby boxes, rose up very, very high. And same thing happened with 2020. The, the box went up to four, 4.5K, something like that, just for a hobby box. Everything went after, everyone went after those. And now they are slowing down. We, we see a dip in those prices. We see a dip in uh, different prices for different drivers. And I think there's a few reasons for that. The poor results from... Uh, obvious Hamilton like he's still probably not probably he's still the most sought after driver that we have in there because you know Lewis is Lewis and his poor results have been driving his prices down plus add to that everything that's going on with the economic uh, um, what word could I use economic climate I mean can I say oh, you that? could you could say climate landscape situation. Yeah. I mean all, all of this situation plus the releases of many different products like Chrome came out, then uh, Dynasty came out, then Sapphire came out. It's like been three releases, boom, 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 right <laughs> after one, right after the other, and now it seems like people are plus the people that have been grading their Chrome cards, their Chrome hits every card that were raw in the market and pretty new. So hot stocks are coming back now from PSA, coming back from SGC, BGS, all of those grading companies and flooding quote unquote, the market with, uh, you know, more population of different cards. And as a buyer, even for myself, been looking for investing in many different cards. Now you're looking at what's going on in the market and you're like, okay, but what, should I buy? What am I buying? And uh, Dynasty was kind of a flop also this year when you saw the box prices pretty high and the cards that uh, we discussed about it, the, the card prices that you could barely, you know, make your money back on the box by opening it. So this is the market right now. It's slowing down. It's an investment opportunity or even for collectors. If you want to collect, you know, Lewis Hamilton, the card you've always been dreaming of, it's probably the time right now to buy it, you know, uh, before we, uh, we move on to Azerbaijan and uh, the Grand Prix I will be attending, Canada and Montreal right here. So uh, this is it. Will it 
go back up. I'm, you know, everyone is unanimous about it. You know, it, it's a, it, it's an opportunity of market for people to to invest to get the cards that they want to collect. So one percent, I think F1 is still a buy, even more than it was a few months back. Now on to the drivers. The, the Charles Leclerc bubble has burst officially. Uh, what a what a mess up! Not to say other uh, other things. That Ferrari team, these Ferrari. You saw those memes online, Paul. Just like myself, just like everyone. Um, the memes coming out. Oh, the clowns at Ferrari are back. Uh, they messed up by uh, telling Charles to box and then stay out. <laughs> Pretty. Heartbreaking moment there for Ferrari fans, for Charles fans, but his prices are dropping like crazy. And now we see that Max Verstappen is on, I don't want to, you know, have a bad joke here, that joke, in the driver's seat for the championship. Um, he's gaining momentum and we are moving on to a part of the calendar that Red Bull will have a better car than Ferrari because they are faster on, um, uh, on top speed. They're better on top speed, while Ferrari is better on, um, on accelerating and, you know, fast corners, which uh, will, you know, if you look at Azerbaijan circuit, if you look at the Montreal circuit, both of these uh, have long stretches. And uh, yeah, that's it. So Red Bull, you know, if you have... Charles cards right now, I would hold. I would not sell at this moment. I would wait uh, and, and see. Probably hold long term. There, uh, in my opinion, Charles won't win in the next races, and Max will do so. And look at a guy that you didn't mention. You want to talk talk about Drugovich, and you want to talk about um, George Russell. But I'm telling you, and I, I wouldn't have never said that at the beginning of the season. Look at Checo Perez. Okay. Yeah, I wanted I, I would love to get your take on him as well. Do you think this this uh these recent performances are legit? They're going to continue. Talk 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 to us about him and his cards if you if you can. Well, I don't think that um I don't think that uh Red Bull will ever put um Perez in front of Verstappen, and we saw that in Barcelona, right? They asked, uh, they asked to play the, the team policy and to let Max pass for the win. But now that Max is first um, in the championship, they probably will want Checo to be the ultimate teammate and pass Leclerc for second place, which which can happen, which can happen because of um, everything I said in the past minutes so uh, okay. yeah I mean if Perez continues to go with these performances he won in Monaco he he can actually challenge uh, Leclerc definitely and we can see some Red Bull battles you know again quote unquote because they won't they they won't let it happen in the past Christian Horner remembers that you know they won't let their two drivers Uh, collide with one another and and crash so i mean if you look at the prices of checo perez in the past week or so um it went it, it went crazy i mean uh people now see him as a legit driver he signed another contract with um red bull for for another two years until 2024 so there's no more speculation around Uh, is Checo Perez going to be replaced by Pierre Gasly at Red Bull or um, so on and so forth? So um, with the speculation out of it, now it's all for him to continue and perform. And he he's proven that when he's given a good car and he's given the uh, freedom to drive, he can be a very, very fast driver and... Um, Check, yeah, his value is on the rise, man.